The following tutorial is a sample video from a full course. To watch the entire course and many others, please visit digitaltutors.com to find hundreds of other free videos or sign up for a subscription and experience our entire library. In this lesson, we will learn about rendering. Rendering allows us to convert our 3D scenes into a 2D image. Much like a traditional artist paints color and shading on a sketch, rendering allows a 3D artist to add shading and lighting in order to create a finished piece. It is used in almost all 3D fields, such as product visualization, architectural design, and film. When setting up a render, we usually start with a scene that's only modeled and animated. We may also have textures for our models, but not always. In order to render a scene, we will need to add materials to shade our models, add lights, set up an environment, and tweak our render settings in order to increase quality or to use features like ray tracing or final gather. When we hit render, the application looks at our scene through the camera and then translates all the 3D data into 2D pixel data. Depending on your scene and render settings, rendering can take a long time. Rendering at film size and quality can sometimes take hours or days per frame. All of these steps may be done by a single render artist or may be divided into separate jobs, such as one person lighting the scene while someone else making the shaders. However, each step needs to be complete before we hit the render button. Rendering is one of the final steps in the production pipeline and it is responsible for converting our 3D scenes into a finished looking 2D image.